No victory. Nothing is as glorious as bending the force to your will. However, hopeful he has end up dead. That doesn't seem glorious. We make no apologies for the weak. If you cannot clench your fist and know when the moment comes to strike, there is no place for you amongst us. Of those who come to train, those who are weak return home. If they are both weak and foolish, they die. But it was their choice to come. Your first character in your light side playthrough was called Dake Starcrud? Who's that? <laughs> what does that mean? This sounds weird. Is that one of the randomization options? Um, and what about the Jedi? Hide-bound relics who burden themselves with tradition no, and with does. the protection of the weak and ungrateful. They are pitiful and misguided. Why would you take a gift as glorious as the Force and squander it? Weaken yourself deliberately and shackle yourself to outdated mores. Our gift has made us superior. It is our rightful place to rule. How can any deny that? Yet the Jedi do so. And call us evil because we do not. You don't consider yourself evil? Is the Sarkath beast who dominates his jungle evil? The Tukata who leaps on the squell bug for the kill? These are things of nature, of the universe. We are no different from this. The Force is part of the universe, part of the same laws. We were gifted to set us above the rest. To deny nature is foolish. But you say the dark side of the Force, don't you? It is the Jedi who serve the Force, trying to discern its wishes like frightened old men staring at the stars. The Force serves us. We shape it to our will. We are its master. The Jedi deny their darkness, but we revel in it. We allow it to fuel our strength. The dark side is evil. It corrupts. Corruption is a word the pitiful use to describe the natural longing for power that they deny. Evil is a word trumpeted by the weak to ease their heart. It is true that the Force exacts a physical toll on some, but not a single one of them has ever regretted it. Anything else you hear is propaganda. Where does Dark Manic fit into all this? Hide-bound relics who... Why would you take our... Um... You know the name. Malak is the strongest of us, and the strongest always rules. At least until one who is stronger can take it from him. That is our way. Survival of the fittest. You are always on guard, always lean for the kill. We promote it, for through this, the Sith are stronger. You kill each other? If a Sith is proven to be weak, and if the time is right, the Force rewards the cunning and the mighty. Step up to the challenge if you dare, or turn tail and run. What if I said I was already a Sith? I would consider that an amusing ploy to try and enter the Academy. Why? Who will you claim to be? Darth Malak himself? What about Darth Revan? What about Revan? Revan is dead. You may have a natural gift for the Force, human, but you've no gift for lies. <laughs> um... I see. About joining you. You've heard enough, have you? <laughs> so what is it to be? Are you here to be a Sith or not? No, I'm not interested. No? Why might that be? There is something odd about you, human, that I cannot place. Obviously, you are a Jedi. One who is very strong in the Force, it seems. So were you a part of the Order for very long? Did they train you? No, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> As you wish. Play your little game, Jedi, if you must. Either way, I sense an intriguing amount of power within you. With that kind of power, you could become a great Sith. Perhaps, if I let you. Does that interest you? No, it doesn't. A pity. And here I hadn't even decided yet. Well, human, should you change your mind, you know where to come. That was fun. <laughs> you again. What do you wish now? I want to join the Sith. Ah, oh, so you are just another hopeful after all. Or are you? There is something odd about you that I cannot place. Nice. Obviously, you are a Jedi. One who is very strong in the Force, it's... Um... What difference does it make? Perhaps none. Perhaps all the difference in the world. Either way, you possess enough raw power to intrigue me greatly. With that kind of power, you could become a great Sith. Perhaps. If I let you. 
Does that interest you? Uh, persuade lie. Yes, it does. I wish to become a Sith. I love that they have two options for persuade and one's a lie. That's amazing. Ah, good. Exactly the sort of answer I was hoping for. I will take you to the Academy, and we shall see if you are ready to join the ranks of the Sith. I have only one other question. These companions of yours, they will not be coming with you, I presume? They are slaves. Don't worry about them. My hearing's not so good. I'm just pleased my nice master doesn't beat me so much anymore. Yes, sir. There's something odd about this servant of yours. No matter. <laughs> Make sure they don't disturb your training or cause trouble. You are responsible for them. Now, are you ready to go to the Academy? Yeah. Then let us leave. The master of the Academy awaits you. Don't know why all the other hopefuls didn't just talk to her. Seems pretty easy to get in. Greetings, prospective students. It appears we have a late entry. Who do you bring before me, Uthura? A young human bristling with the Force? A human that has had some training, it seems, Master Uthar. Very promising, I think. That I'll judge for myself, thank you. Tell me, human, what do you know of the ways of the Sith? What preconceptions has your mind been polluted with? I know more about the Sith than you. I've just forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Then perhaps you would care to demonstrate for us the powers of a Sith Master. Uh. No? Then perhaps you shall keep your foolishness to yourself and actually learn something. The Jedi equate the light with goodness and strength, and the dark with weakness and evil. That is their tradition, and it is truly no surprise that they cling to it for comfort. We, however, do not treat the Force as a burden. We treat it as a gift, a thing to be celebrated. We use it to acquire power over others. And why should we not? Because the Jedi say we should not. We are as the Force is meant to be. The Jedi would hide that from you. Oh, hello. From you. They would tell you the dark side is too quick, too easy. All so that they need never challenge the passions that lie within them. Joining with us means realizing your true potential. It means not stifling yourself solely for the sake of hidebound shamans and their antiquated notion of order. Be what you were meant to be. What say you, Lasho? Are you ready to learn the secrets of the dark side? Dare you? I dare, Master Uthar. I am ready. Brash and fiery, as expected. Turn that passion to your advantage, child. What of you, Meikle? Are you ready? I am, Master. More than ready. I sense much anger within you, young one. That is good. That will provide you power. And Shardan, what of you? I am always ready. I see. You had best gather your wits for the trial ahead, boy, or you will not last. And you, young human, does this interest you? Are you ready to learn more of what I speak? Yeah, whatever. There should be a way to just kill everyone here. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Um, but power without consideration of morality is a weakness. <laughs> You are brave to argue, young one. I have met few students who would speak so openly to me. Ask yourself first what this morality is. How is it created? Who does it benefit? Where do your notions of good and evil come from? You may come to the realization that morality is but an obstacle to overcome, or not. The discovery is yours to make, should you be ready. Now then, all of you five recruits have shown a degree of facility with the Force. You all have the potential to become true Sith. Only one of you, however, will succeed. The one who succeeds will be admitted to the Academy as a full Sith. All others must wait until next year and try again, if you survive. My pupil, Euthura, shall be your teacher and master while you attempt to prove yourselves. Heed her words. As Master Uthar said, none of you are true Sith yet. For that to occur, one of you must do enough of worth. Gain enough prestige to be selected. What is an act of worth? You must learn that for yourselves. Remember that you are competitors here. Fight for your destiny, or go home. If you wish to gain a lead over your competitors, the first of you to learn the code of the Sith and tell me of it will be rewarded. The rest is for you to discover. Welcome to the dark side, my children. Your one chance at true greatness lies here. Huh. 
They give me free loot. Ooh. Ooh. An entry from none or whatever you call it. <laughs> entry present? Be right back, go. Cool. Ah, oh, there you are. My favorite prospect for the year. Your favorite prospect? Absolutely. By my estimation, you are far more likely to achieve the prestige necessary to join the Sith than any of the others. As a matter of fact, I am so certain of that that I'm willing to offer you an opportunity of the once-in-a-lifetime variety. Would you like to hear it? <laughs> Do I have a choice? Not really. Oh, don't worry. What I have in mind will benefit us both. You can be sure of that. As I said, you're no doubt going to be the one whom Uthar chooses to become a Sith. With my help, of course. Once that occurs, he will take you into the Valley of the Dark Lords to the tomb of Nagasado to administer the final test. There you and I will be alone with him. The perfect time to, shall we say, arrange for a change in the Academy's leadership. What's so important about this tomb? The tomb is an ancient ruin on the surface that was visited years ago by Darth Revan and Darth Malak. They discovered a star map there of great importance. You don't say. Well, the Master loves tombs, don't you, Master? Reaching that map, as they did, is part of the final test. At any rate, it is not the tomb that is important. That Uthar will be alone is what is important. Uh, hey, Mr. Gunny. How are you doing? Welcome back. Um, what's to stop me from telling him about this? I suppose you could do that. Even the hint of betrayal from his pupil and Uthar would move to eliminate me. But this is a very good opportunity for you. You can start off your Sith career as the right hand of the head of the Academy. Me, Uthar will not offer you that. Do you believe Uthar would not be aware of this? He would quickly figure out what you have to gain by betraying him, and would never believe someone would pass that up. Tell Master Uthar what you wish. Were I you, I would think first of what the consequences of such an action might be. And what's your part in this? My part in this is to help you gain enough prestige and slow down the progress of the other hopefuls. I want you in that tomb when the time is right. We destroy Master Uthar together and I take his place. And you take your place at my side. A beautiful plan in its sheer simplicity. You want me to kill Master Uthar? Is that such a daunting prospect? It is not as if I am asking you to perform the task alone, or as if you will get nothing out of it. Master Uthar cannot prevail against us both. That's all there is to it. It is a very simple matter. People against Master. Sounds familiar. And so it should. It is central to our beliefs. It is my responsibility to replace my master when I am strong enough. Um, how do I know this isn't some test? <laughs> you must not know much about the Sith yet. If Uthar were even to suspect that I might be trying to supplant him, true or not, well, let's just say he wouldn't likely stop to ask too many questions before ensuring I was dealt with. Very well, I agree. I'm so glad you see it my way. I will begin to make preparations for your final test. Your only worry now is to get there. Don't disappoint me. How do I get more prestige? You must impress Master Uthar. Go to him with news of your deeds or artifacts you have discovered. The first and easiest way would be for you to learn the code of the Sith and speak it to him. I can teach you that if you like. Shall I go on? Yeah, go on. There are a group of students who refused an order by Master Uthar to execute a group of civilians in the colony. Uthar declared that they were to be executed themselves, but the students escaped and fled before the order could be carried out. We are certain that they have not left Korriban. No doubt they have not gotten far and are simply in hiding. We just do not know where exactly. If you were to locate them and carry out Uthar's order, I am sure he would be most appreciative. Shall I go on? Yes, go on. I would suggest you talk to the other prospective Sith and find one you can gain an advantage with. I believe Lasho would be an excellent choice. She is too trusting. I have little doubt you could talk her into letting you help her somehow. 
Just make sure it is you who gains the advantage, not her. Be ruthless if you must. That is the only thing that will impress Uthar. The only other idea I can suggest to you is that you head into the Valley of the Dark Lords on the surface. There are ancient ruins there which can be explored. It's possible you might find some artifacts or information in them which would please Uthar. It's difficult to say for certain. Um, can you tell me about the Curry of the Sith? I can help you understand it. Would you like to hear it? Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, I gain power. Through power, I gain victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. The Force shall free me. Simple words, yet easily misunderstood. Would you care for me to explain anything? Beautiful. Peace is a lie. There is only passion. The Jedi would have you believe that peace is a desirable goal. That peace of the spirit is the way the Force is mastered. That a lack of conflict betters man. We know different. It is our passion, our hate, and our desire that fuels the Force. It is conflict that improves the lot of civilization and single being both. Conflict forces one to better oneself. It forces change, growth, adaption, evolution, or death. These are not our laws, but the universe's. Without conflict, you have only stagnation. Your passion against strength. What fuels your power with the Force but your passion? The stronger, darker emotions. Anger, hatred, fear. These passions empower us. What about love? Love is more dangerous than all those things. Love leads to anger and hatred more often than not. But it also leads to mercy, which is far worse. That, however, is a lesson for another time. <laughs> Those seem like awfully negative passions. Negative? Compared to what? What keeps even the most rudimentary creature alive? Fear to run. Anger to fight. Without it, a creature would most surely die. Um, are you saying we aren't anything more than a rudimentary creature? We are far more than them, perhaps. But in some ways, we are little different. To think us creatures beyond the need of simple passions is a delusion. Can I say the opposite? How can both be right? The Force gives us all power, even the Jedi. It is our mastery of our passion that gives us the strength they lack. I see. It is our goal to be stronger, to achieve our potential and not rest upon our laurels. We are the Seekers, not the Shepherds. Um, through strength I gain power? We did that, right? Yes. No, we didn't. The stronger you become in the Force, the more power you will achieve. But always must you fight for your power. Without strife, your victory has no meaning. Without strife, you do not advance. Without strife, there is only stagnation. So oh, I need extra strife. Hmm, interesting. Through power, I gain victory. How many sorts of victories can you imagine? Peaceful victory, victory by sacrifice, a truce. An achievement. Unless the victory is achieved by demonstrating that your power is superior, it is only an illusion, temporary at best. We seek more. Through victory, my chains are broken. This has been argued over, and often. The chains represent our restrictions, both those placed upon us and those we place upon ourselves. Ultimately, the goal of any Sith is to free herself from such restrictions. In a way, it is so we may do whatever we wish, but it is much more than that. One who has freed themselves from all restrictions has reached perfection, their potential fulfilled. Perfect strength, perfect power, perfect destiny. Imagine it. That is our ideal, at any rate. It is said in Sith legend that the Sithari, the perfect being, will one day lead us. But perhaps that is just a legend. You don't think the Sithari can exist? I wonder what that being would be like. The legends say the Sithari will destroy us and make us stronger than ever. But perhaps that is just a legend. Perfection is a goal, I think, rather than a state of being. The Jedi would argue that, no doubt. The Force shall free me. The Force is our servant and our master, our teacher and our companion, a weapon and a tool. Know it, and you know the universe. Master it, and you master the universe. 
Strive for perfection and the Force shall reward you. I think I got it. I am not surprised. The Force is strong with you. Master it and it shall serve you well. Um, I want to know more about these ruins on the surface. I have been involved in the work there over the last couple of years, but not often. Most of the excavating is left to the students. What did you wish to know? Welcome back, strange gentleman. Is there any way into the tomb of Nagasado? Not unless you are accompanied by Master Uthar. No, it is strictly forbidden. And I truly doubt you could bypass the doors to the tomb with anything less than ship blasters. Even then, perhaps. There's no other way inside? None. I do not even know how Master Uthar gains entrance, to tell the truth. Though I look forward to discovering that fact. I have searched many times, so do not bother. There is no other way. Do not fret, however. Simply get the prestige you need, and you will see the tomb soon enough. Why are the Sith so interested in these ruins? We could learn much about the history of the ancient Sith. Why they were on Korriban, and why they left. Perhaps we could learn more about the origin of the Force itself. With that knowledge could come great power. I've heard enough. As you wish. Do you know anything about Darth Revan? Revan? You mean Darth Malak's former master? That's the one. Very little. I never met him personally, though I heard he was a very powerful man. Very charismatic. In the end, Revan was outshone by his pupil. Such is the way of the Sith. Why? Is this dead man of importance to you? You think it's possible Revan might be alive? Anything is possible. Uthar's former master still lives, though he is in no condition to challenge his former pupil for leadership. Perhaps the same is true for Revan. Perhaps Revan is out there, somewhere, waiting to take revenge upon Malak. More likely, what we were told is the truth. Revan is dead. Malak would be foolish to leave his old master alive, considering all the knowledge Revan held. So you wouldn't recognize Revan if the two of you met? Is there any reason I should? Beside the fact I did not know Revan in life, Revan was known for wearing a full helmet and cape. Perhaps Revan's body had been disfigured by the power of the Force. It is not unheard of. Regardless, I doubt I shall be meeting Revan any time soon. You mentioned that Revan came here before? Both Revan and Malak came to Korriban when they discovered the tomb of Nagasado. That was before my time. That's all I had to ask. Fair enough. Tell me about yourself. About myself? I am originally from Slaheron, if you must know. I was a slave to a cruel master, Omish the Hutt. I'm sure you don't need to know more. I'll be going. You have had an excellent start. Go, gain more prestige. Literally everyone knows who you are except the seven. <laughs> It looks like it, eh? <laughs> Everyone must have like slept that mask on. Must have been pretty rank in there. Maybe that's our best to beat him. He's got like some grease in his eye or something. Greetings, student. Greetings, Sith God. No problem. Didn't work. Ah. Hey, Lasho. Actually, maybe we should... Uh, it doesn't really matter when we do it here. I was going to say we should go hurry to Master Uthar, but... Yeah, I think the game will wait for us. I remember you from the colony. You seem alright. Though you'll not win the right to train before me. Who are you? You don't remember? My name is Lasho. We met in the colony ever so briefly. You're trying to become a Sith as well? Just figure that out, did you? <laughs> It just so happens that I have a surefire way of pulling ahead in this little contest of ours. You don't really have a chance. And what way is that? I found an artifact that will impress Uthar far more than anything you could ever scrounge up. I'll win for sure. Why haven't you brought Uthar yet? I don't have it just yet. I'll get it when I'm good and ready. Where is this artifact? Oh, it's guarded, isn't it? So what if it is? I'll get it eventually, regardless. Nothing good comes without a bit of a fight. 
That's the Sith motto, more or less. Maybe, uh, <laughs> you're lying. You don't have anything. You go ahead and think that. I'll enjoy the look on your face when I win. Ah, I no. remember you. Um, I'd like to help you achieve your artifact. Help me get it? I don't know. Hmm. I suppose I could use some help. The artifact I know of certainly won't be easy to take. But why should I work with you? Because you want to work with me. Yes, I do want to work with you. I suppose it's possible that Master Uthar could award both of us prestige. We'd be ahead of the others, for sure. Unfortunately, the Holocron lies in the gullet of a Tukata mother. I can arrange for us to meet her, but you're going to have to help me in putting her down. That makes sense to you? Go into the valley when you're prepared enough. I'll be amongst the central pillars near the north end. I love how the Jedi mind touch worked. Or the mind trick, sorry. Um, and I'm just supposed to trust you? And I'm just supposed to trust you? You're the one who has to work on this, remember? You watch me, and I'll watch you. I don't trust you any more than you trust me. If you don't like that, don't come. Why do you think this holocron is so important? Because it probably contains secrets from the time when the Sith ruins on this planet first existed. You don't think that Master Uthar would find that impressive? What is a holocron? A holocron. This holocron, anyway, is an ancient recording device. It can store and display large amounts of information. See you there. Remember, the central pillar's in the valley. I'll be waiting, so don't take too long. Ah, uh, it's a thumb drive, yeah. It's a USB stick. About a dark USB stick. It's got a virus on it, because it's a Sith disc. I remember you. You're all right. Trying for the Academy, I see. Who are you? The name's Shardan. Didn't I tell you that back in the colony? Maybe not. Uh, do you want to coordinate strategy? I don't work or play well with others. Thanks for the offer, though. Ah. You have everything in your chest? Hey, Cal Algren. Oh, uh, hello. I don't remember seeing you here before. My name is Kel. Kel Algren. Um, is something wrong? I, oh, uh, nothing. Are you sure? Uh, yes, my master always says I'm too trusting, too willing to show weakness. You're a Sith, so I, I really shouldn't, you know. But I'm not a Sith yet. Oh, I know that. I mean... You aren't yet, but you intend to be. I mean, you're just like everyone else here. And you're not? Well, I, I, I didn't mean it like that. Well, how did you mean it then? I, I shouldn't trust you. I, I can't trust you. Can I? Sure you can. I just don't feel I belong here. I thought maybe I did at first, but now, I don't know. I just have so many doubts. <laughs> um... If it doesn't feel right, then perhaps you don't belong here. But where would I go, then? What would I do? Have you thought about the Jedi? Uh, I, I don't know. I, I never really thought about it. Maybe I should seek it out. Give it a try. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, uh, yeah, but Dantooine's been s destroyed, eh? Oh, well. <laughs> Light side points gained, I guess. <laughs> yeah, gotta show that footlocker his boss. And this is Uthar's room, right? Just double checking, yeah. You just steal Uthar's pillow, and then be like, hey, we got your pillow. Did we get prestige for that. There we go. Hey, Ether Wine. Greetings, young one. You have much to do yet. You have gained little prestige. You will have to work quickly if you hope to best the others. How do I gain prestige? Oh, 
It is no more complicated than I said. Perform impressive deeds, or bring me 